Hey everybody, welcome back. This time I'm going to be playing Jax. I uploaded a Jax gameplay a couple months ago. You guys seem to like that one based on the analytics, so I figured I'd do another one. I do still plan to upload some gameplay of a few more champions, but I'm always going to upload more of whatever gets the most likes because that's my best way of knowing what you all want to see. So this build is going to be slightly more tanky than last time. Instead of rushing Bloodraiser, we're going to be rushing Tiamat, so it's going to give us a little bit more burst damage and also a better clear speed for the jungle or split pushing. But then later we can be more tanky if we upgrade our jungle item into Cinder Hulk and our Tiamat into Titanic Hydra. Then after that we can build like a Guardian Angel or whatever specific armor or MR we need for the situation. Right here on the map I notice the Fizz is getting chased towards me from mid so let's run down there, pick up a free kill. How convenient is that? Let's see what we can find in the enemy jungle. The blue buff is already gone, the wolves are gone. We can take the gromp. It looks like top is a little bit too pushed for me to gank, so I'll maybe come back later. I can take out the scuttle on the way out. Looking at mid now again. Um, if mid was pushed, I would just go to raptors and krugs and then recall, but in this case I can try to get a kill in mid. I'm gonna wait around this wall. I'm not gonna go in until he uses his dodge ability because if he has that up, there's no way I'm going to be able to lock him down with my stun. He uses Q there, and there goes his E, so now let's try to catch up to him. He's going to be a little bit out of reach, but he messed up by jumping through me and trying to get back to his tower. He probably didn't think my Q was going to be up again already because I just used it, but it was up just in time for me to get that kill. Top is still a little bit too pushed to gank, but maybe we can get bot lane. Use this plant to sweep the tri-bush so we know it's not warded. Let's hug this wall so they can't see me coming. And let's focus Scion because Ezreal's just going to jump away. I actually used my Q to jump to Ezreal, which got me in range to stun Scion, and we were able to put out enough burst damage to get that kill. Take out the Scuttle, leave a ward for bot lane, use this other plant to clear any enemy wards. Looks like there's none of them. And now that my buffs are expired, I'm just going to farm these last two camps over here before I recall with 2,000 gold. We're going to have enough money to finish a Tiamat, a Hunter's Potion, Basic Boots, and an Attack Speed Dagger. We're not going to rush the jungle item, we're going to get that after Training Force. The enemy red buff is spawning in 20 seconds, let's leave a ward over here. Also dragons up. So I'll try to gank bot, otherwise maybe we'll take out this dragon. This is probably warded because they're not coming out, so let's head over to dragon. The support is going to come over and help me out. Shouldn't be too hard, we're not going to take too much damage because the Voidlings are going to take a good amount of it. Let's try to give this blue buff to my mid laner because he's doing pretty good. Give it a couple pings, but if he doesn't come over, that's fine, I'll just take it from myself. He's either unaware or he just doesn't want it. So now let's head back to mid and try to get another kill. Let's walk around the back and if we're able to actually get behind him, we don't need to start with Q. The Q is mostly if you're coming from the side and you want to gap close. But if you're behind somebody, you can start with your E, and then if they flash, then you can use your Q to jump to them. Because it would be a waste if you Q'd them from behind, then they would be able to flash away and you wouldn't have another gap close. This enemy blue buff is up, so let's steal this real quick, and then let's head up to top lane. That ribbon looks like an easy kill, maybe like in one burst we can take him out. Let's heal up a little bit from this stuff. So start with E, then Q to him, reactivate the E in midair, then just auto attack reset with W and activate Tiamat. Now that my top laner is dead, I'm just going to take some of this farm in top and do a little bit of damage to the tower. Now let's go grab the scuttle. It doesn't really take much time to kill the scuttle, so I think it's worth it to always take them out. Good vision control. Let's steal some more stuff from the enemy jungle. Take these wolves. I was going to take the gromp, but then they showed up. Riven and Shaco here, and Fizz on the way. So let's run away from this. That would be a for sure death. Now while I'm waiting for a gank opportunity, I'm just going to do a little bit of farming. The clear speed is so fast with the Tiamat. It's a really good idea to farm Krugs and Raptors with this build because of your AoE damage. And our mid laner just died a second ago, so let's just take a little bit of farm and push this wave to the tower. So the tower is going to kill the minions. And it'll reset the wave at the halfway point. Let's quickly take out the Scuttle Crab just because it doesn't take very long. And let's try again for mid. So this time he does finally use his dodge when I'm waiting. So it's going to be an easy kill for us. We're just going to activate our E and with a red buff on him, he's slowed. One more auto attack and he's dead. 
Mountain Drake is up. Let's go take that. I have 3,000 gold. In order to finish 24, so it looks like I need 3,400. So let's do a little bit more farming. A little bit more farming. We need 3,400, need 100 more gold. Let's head to mid lane, cover that lane while our mid laner is dead. Get a little bit more gold. Also soak up some XP. Look at that. We're at level 10. We're beating both the mid laners in experience. It's all thanks to that Tiamat. Get a little bit of damage on Fizz. Now Shaco surprised me here. For some reason, I, I decided to take one step back. He ignites me, and I'm dead. Goodbye, perfect game. But we got enough money to finish Trinity Force, so let's do that. He had a good amount of damage on Riven real quick. And he's the strongest enemy right now. This is a really sloppy dive, honestly. Really bad. Shaco jumped away from it. But it's okay. None of my teammates died, and we got the Riven. Now let's slowly push down this mid-tower. Slowly but surely. Another dodged stun. I will get you next time, Shaco. So we got a mid tower. Let's head down to bot lane. We can pick up this tower. And that's a pretty good time to recall. We got a good amount of money. The whole team got a good amount of money. Upgrade our boots. I could have got Ninja Tabai because they're mostly AD, but I just wanted to have a little bit of fun, I guess. Went for the swiftness boots. And I'm also picking up a red smite this time instead of blue smite. I chose blue smite last time and people in the comments suggested taking red smite. I think it's a good choice because you don't really need the slow. Normally if you can get into range of somebody you're going to jump to them anyways. So if you have the red smite it'll give you the vision of them. So if they walk into a bush or something you can still queue to them. And also it'll give you more damage over time with the red smite. So we got a top tower. Let's push this. We can probably get another tower up here. Two towers in top. Let's go head towards mid. We can probably get another tower over in mid. So much global gold. It's going to be hard for the enemies to stop this momentum that we've got. Look at that Scion trying to base race us. I'll go take care of it. First let me grab this red buff real quick. But I haven't forgot about you Scion. Coming for you. Check out this burst damage. Start with the stun. And then the auto attack reset and Tiamat. And he's gone. I'll take the scuttle too. Hey look at that, a fire drake. Nice timing. Hey look guys, it's that Shaco that embarrassed me earlier. Let's go chase him and redeem ourselves. Gotta get payback. Oh, I see you up there Shaco, I'm coming. Let's use Flash in a valiant attempt to catch and slay him. Activate the stun. But he dodges the stun with his ult. Foiled again. Foiled again. But I don't think these guys in mid see me. Fizz engages on Morgana. Tristan is there to back him up. Fizz flashes over the wall straight into me. Now I'm going to grab Cinder Hulk and start building Titanic Hydra. This Riven is over here in top lane. My teammates are chasing him away, so I'm just going to grab these crows real quick. They do finish off Riven, so now we're just going to head down to Baron. It's going to be a free, uncontested Baron. And the game's going to be over real soon. So let's have one more good fight. Let's see how much damage we can put out before this game ends. Um, so there goes Riven's Flash. I'm going to just try to engage here and see how much damage I can get out before dying to end the game. Riven's out. And Fizz just spawned right now. So I'm, I'm going to try to burst out the Scion real quick. Activate the stun, jump on him. Stun him, auto attack, reset Tiamat, and he's dead. Jump on a Shaco. Guess what he does? He jumps away. Just about to stun Ezreal. Ezreal jumps away. Shaco outplays me once again, but it's okay. We still got that sweet LP. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I would like to be able to upload more frequently, but I'm in the last year of my college classes, and I actually have final exams in a couple days. But I'm gonna make it up for you guys. I wanna this coming weekend. I'm gonna do a double upload and a live stream. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time.